everyone, it's Angie. Um, I hope you guys are all doing well today. I hope you're ready to talk about some yarny things. I am, uh, I skipped a week. I didn't do my yarn video last week. So I've got a lot of stuff to show you, but unfortunately I also have a few finished objects that have already gone to their intended recipients that I'm not gonna be able to show you. Um, and one of them was a start and a finish. So you guys missed out on the whole deal. Um, first though, let's do acquisitions first and then we'll do works in progress and then I'll show you what I finished or what I'm super close to finishing. Um, first I want to talk about knit crate. Now my April knit crate box did not get delivered until late May. My May knit crate box did not get delivered until late May. So, uh, and now here we are early June already, and I did get notification that that one has shipped. So I know they had some trouble um, in April with getting the yarn in, and they also had trouble getting the boxes. So April's Knit Crate box actually came in this plastic garbage bag, which I'm not really fond of, because I do use these um, boxes. I actually use them to kit up my diamond paintings if I'm leaving the drills in baggies. These um, knit crate boxes are like just the perfect size and you know they got a lid that closes so I do repurpose the boxes so I do like those. But let's take a look at what I got in my um, April knit crate and I also didn't like that they didn't show you on the card. So the card has the um, barcode symbol that you scan to um, get the pattern that goes with the yarn of the month. And usually there's a picture on here of the pattern of what it is. Um, and they didn't put that on the card this month, that month for April. So I was a little bit disappointed about that. So, and I didn't, honestly, I didn't even look it up yet. So I don't even know what the, what the um, intended project is for this yarn. But what did I get? I got, this is like a very, okay, this is what I got. It's a beautiful green. Um, it's a, like a deep turquoise. This is called the Knit Knitology Wisp. And what is it? It is, the color is called Conservatory and it's 100% merino wool. They're calling it a DK weight. But this is actually, I don't know, it looks awfully thick. It looks like an awfully thick DK weight. You can tell, you know, just with it against my finger there, the width of that. I would call that a four worsted weight all day. Um, and there are 236 yards per hank, and I did get two hanks. So two hanks of 100% superwash merino is in, in a size four at 236 yards. That's a decent amount of yarn. I don't know what I'll do with it, but it's pretty. I don't know how much longer I'll keep my Knit Crate subscription. Um, you know, I tried it and I don't know. I, I, I don't know. But that's what I got for April. And then they always send you a little extra thing. And the little extra thing was for April was actually this really cool notebook. So it's just a lined notebook. It's got like a faux wood cover with like a burned images of leaves. Um, I'm going to use this for projects, for keeping track of... I'm, I'm actually going to try to get better at this. Um, I'm going to keep track of my projects and what yarn I'm using and what hook size I'm using because you guys know I always, I try to keep my hooks with my projects because I have so many whips going all the time and um, I invariably, inevitably they get disconnected from one another. I lose hooks so I'm going to try to use this notebook to keep track of my projects and um, keep track of what hooks I'm using. So that was my April Knit Crate box. Now let's look at, oh, I wish you guys could see Bo Duke right now. He's laying on the couch next to me over here and he's laying on his back with his feet up in the air and his head upside down. He looks adorable. Um, all right, where am I going to put that? 
I'll put that over there for now. Now let's get into the May Knit Crate box. And I don't know, if you don't know about Knit Crate, it's a monthly subscription service. They send you the yarn and the pattern for both a knit project and a crochet project um, that you can complete with the yarn that comes in the kit. You usually get two hanks of yarn. Um, I have, I did have one where I got like, it was like four or five colors, but they were mini hanks. They, so they were, you know, put together, they would make the project. I think it was a scarf or a cowl um, on it. Uh, and it auto renews every month. So it bills you every month and you get new yarn and it's curated towards, you can choose like your mood. Um, like I think it's like energized or, you know, um, or I think one is surprise me or kind of not, that's not what it's called, but it's kind of a, you know, you, you don't make a preference. Um, and there's a, there's other choices you can make. I, I don't remember what they are. So again, this is my box for May and this is the first time I've taken a look at it and I'm looking at the card. And again, on the card, they do not show the project that is gonna be in that pad, the downloadable pattern. Um, so I can't, I don't know. But it does come nice usually in this, you know, box with the tissue paper. So let's see what I got for May. Ooh, this is nice. This is really nice. This is beautiful. This is a chain spun. It's a Vitalana um, Lofty DK. So it is going to be a DK weight yarn, but it's a generous DK. The color of this is Spray Rose. And the reason it feels so nice is because uh, the fiber content it is 48% merino wool and 20% baby alpaca and 32% organic pima cotton. 274 yards per hank. So that's it's a very generous amount. Spray Rose is the name of that color. It's really pretty. It's like a mottled pink and, and cream. Um, that would make a really pretty... I don't know if I would want to say I would make a top with it being that it's got such a high wool content. I don't know, but I really like this. And I do like chain spun yarn. What I mean by chain spun yarn, in case you're not familiar, is like this yarn here, this green yarn, is plied, meaning it's kind of twisted together. This pink yarn here is chain spun. And it, so it's like a chain that of plies that are chained together that form the strand. So that's the difference between those two. And then there's also roving yarn, which roving yarn is, um, this would be an example of roving yarn. It is not plied or spun in any way. It's just kind of twisted together. And roving yarn tends to vary in its thickness throughout the um, skein or cake. Um, so those are just a couple of the differences in the types of yarn, just in case, just in case you're not aware. I know some people watch my yarn videos that aren't really yarn people. Um, so, you know, I thought maybe I should just share some information with you. And then the little treat that came with this month is a stitch marker from Katrinkles. Very cute. Cute little stitch marker. I'll use that. I like stitch markers. So that is my May box. Now, like I said, they've already shipped out my June. I think I'm going to take a break from it for a while um, after I get my June box because I don't know. I just think that it, you know, the idea is kind of cool, but in practicality, you don't really get enough yarn to do like a big project. And I don't know. I, I just don't know that it's that worth it. So um, keeping on with subscriptions, I also got a mountain here of my Annie's uh, Kit Club subscription. I, I got two... Um, projects going for Annie's Kit Clubs. Um, one of them is this, let me grab the card so I can show you. 
is this floral paradise afghan so every month you get another set of rounds to complete like in this package i got the yarn to complete those rounds right there um this is i am really behind on keeping up you know what? maybe that's what i'll work on today um i'm really behind on keeping up with it because i think that i made an error um you can see how wonky my circle is here I'm pretty sure that I didn't increase somewhere because my circle is pretty wonky. So these these stitches here are, are, are I, I didn't increase correctly. So I need to go back and count my stitches and redo a number of rows here, uh, probably three or four rows. But in any event, you know, mistakes happen. Everybody makes them. So that's the one project that I'm working on, and I got the yarn to continue on with that. And that is the yarn that they that um, you use is the uh, Premier Anti Pilling Acrylic, and I love it's Everyday Worsted Premier Anti Pilling Acrylic, and I absolutely love the feel of that yarn. It is really really soft and nice for an acrylic yarn it's it's very nice yarn um i wish that there was a retailer near me that sold that yarn it's something that i would have to order if i wanted to get you know more of it um i wish there was some place that sold it so let's see what else we've got okay so here's another one so this would be the next kit because it's those rounds that come with it so I haven't even looked at that so I'm so far I'm two packs behind and even more than that because I've got to redo one of these um now these could be my other blanket yep these ones are my other blanket that I'm no this one is okay so I'm I'm there I, I haven't even finished that month yet so that's three Ooh, I better get on the ball with that I brought a bag over here that I was going to store those in. Let me get that out. All right. So let me, let me just, let me just quickly, I, I'm trying to be a little bit more organized. My, when I do these videos, my yarn whips kind of end up on the floor next to my chair here. And they don't always make it back to my working chair this isn't because this isn't the chair i sit in when i'm doing my crocheting i sit across the room in my recliner um but this has it's just easier over here okay then my other blanket that i'm doing from an annie's kit club is here's the latest yarn for that and it's this metal lane sampler afghan so it's like it's made of squares at each square each color makes three blocks and so you make three blocks per month and my color for this month is this beautiful what do they call in this dun 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 green tea it's a beautiful color it's a very pretty color so the green tea is going to make those blocks right there and this is going to be a super cool blanket when it's done but i have to admit it's a little bit boring and so i am behind on that one as well i don't have i don't for some reason i don't have as many of those i'm not as behind on these as i am on on the floral paradise afghan but i need to get on the ball with all of those all right, last thing for haul, and then I will show you my works in progress and my finished items. Um, this new acquisition is from Hobby Lobby. Um, if you've been following along with my channel um, or and or with Mindy's channel, uh, Mindy's Diamond Moment, you'll know that her and I are going to be doing... I don't want to call it a crochet along because it's not something that we're coming it's not a pattern that we're coming up with we're using a pattern that is has been coming out um, as a crochet along from another from another site um, the site is called sisters in stitch it's a free crochet along and they're releasing 
um, every Friday starting in the beginning of May, they're releasing a portion of this project. It's called the Island Stroll. So if you're interested, what we're going to do is we're going to get together. We went together and bought the yarn. She's going to do it in a one color way. Hers is like blues and creams and tans. And mine is like pinks and rose and gray and and um so we're gonna do the same pattern but with a different color um if you would like to participate with us what we're gonna do is we're gonna get together on fridays and go live um on one of either one of our channels and just chit chat with you while we crochet and you guys can crochet along with us and participate and make this pattern. And what we've decided to do is um, the website is Sisters in Stitch. If you want to look into getting your supplies because uh, Mindy's been dealing with some personal things lately. So uh, this has been pushed back a little bit, but we're still going to do it. If you, you So you have time to get your supplies. And if you go to the Sisters in Stitch website, it's called the Island Stroll Crochet Along, and we're going to do the pillow. Uh, and you can see their uh, materials list, and if you just want to take that materials list and go to your local yarn store, Joann's or Hobby Lobby or wherever, and choose the colors that you would like to do, it's you know going to be completely individualized. Uh, they also have on Sisters in Stitch, now this would be coming from the UK, so I'm not sure what kind of shipping time it would be, but they do sell kits in each of the three colorways that they show on um, their site. Um, they're a little bit pricey because probably they're coming from the UK and the kit for the pillow was like $87. So that was a little bit out of our price range. We decided we would just substitute yarn. We went to Hobby Lobby and found yarn to substitute. So this is what I got for that crochet along. It's Yarn Bees brand. Um, Fresh Haven is the line of yarn that it's called. And this is a four weight, four medium weight yarn. So any four weight yarn would work. Um, and this is a light four. I, I think you could use a three weight yarn. Check the pattern check, or check the website with the crochet along and see. Just, you know, you could really, you could use any size yarn you wanted to, but the size of your pillow would be different depending on your gauge, you know, depending on what hook size and what yarn size you use. So I got the colors mustard, pink, Red clay, don't those look great together? Hummus. And gray. And I have to get one more color, I need a cream. They didn't have enough cream in the store um, when Mindy and I went for us both to get all of the cream that we needed. So I need to go to my local Hobby Lobby and pick up the cream to go with this. Uh, but this is 100% um, Lyocell, Lyocell, I think, li yeah, I think that's how you would pronounce it, Lyocell, which is a plant-based um, material. So it's, it's a, like cotton, um, but it's made from trees. So I, we had to look it up. We were like, what the hell is Lyocell? So we... <laughs> We had, we had to get educated on what YSL actually was, um, but that's the fi the fiber content. I would suggest using a cotton or a bamboo or YSL, you know, some kind of a, a plant-based uh, yarn, just because your stitch definition is going to be better um, to show up because it's a pretty intricate pattern. Not difficult. Don't get scared away. It's not a, it's not going to be difficult. They're still rating it as an easy level. Um, pattern but it has you know intricate details that you're going to want to show that when you have a fuzzy acrylic yarn just isn't going to show up as well as when you have a, a cotton or bamboo or um, you know natural fiber yarn so that is my last purchase that I um, have made 
Maddie and I, Maddie's coming to town this weekend, and we're going to go back to that um, little the little yarn shop where um, we got some more, or we got some yarn that I showed you last time. And um, I downloaded a new pattern from Hooked on Sunshine. I'm in love with their stuff. I just, I'm in love with their stuff. So um, Hooked on Sunshine has great patterns if you want to, and you can buy them th through their website and add it to your Ravelry, like purchase it through Ravel through their website, but from Ravelry. So if you don't know what Ravelry is, it's like a repository for patterns and it's like a virtual pattern box. Basically you can, it's got thousands and thousands of searchable patterns and you can download them as PDFs um, and print them off. Some of them are free. Some of them you have to pay. So um, that's that's that. So um, works in progress. Now this is technically a work in progress, but it's really so close to a finish. So, so close to a finish. This is going to be a summer top that all I have left to do is do the trim around the neck. I, I got to do a finishing row around the neckline and I have to finish off the sleeves and do a finishing row along the bottom. The reason why this is not finished, the only reason why this is not finished is because I, um, I'm not sure if I want it as long as I have it. It's pretty long right now. I might want to take out a few rows. I'm not sure yet, but I'm absolutely in love with this yarn. I'm going to buy so much more of this yarn. This I made out of two cakes of this Comfy Cotton Blend, which is a Lion brand yarn. I showed you guys this on my last yarn video. 392 yards per cake, and they're saying it's a lightweight uh, number three, but it's a thick three. Um, it, I used a six and a half millimeter hook. It, it stitched up like a four, I would say. Um, and I, it, it's the pattern that I used called for a six and a half millimeter hook, and you can see the stitches they're not they're not too big and loose it's just a simple double crochet top but it's going to be great um, when it's finished i love the color this color is called driftwood and i have a whole cake left i don't know what i'm going to do with it but almost 400 yards i can do something with it so that is one thing that is on the hook but it should be it should be off the hook. I just can't make a decision on whether or not I should make it a little bit shorter, take out a few rows. So that's the hold up on that one. Then I am also nearly completed with a sweater that I am making with uh, some of my Noro yarn. So this is the Noro um, Teo yarn, which is a blend of uh, cotton, silk, wool and polyamide and the color is color 109 they just call, give their colors numbers um, but this is again a very simple sweater um very simple just double stitch sweater double crocheted sweater but aren't those colors great doesn't that look awesome i am going to be in love with this sweater so this will be a good spring and fall sweater because it's got so much cotton in it. It's not going to be a real heavy, it's predominantly cotton. It does have a little bit of wool, but it's predominantly cotton and silk. So I got one sleeve done and I'm just working on the second sleeve. I'm almost finished with it. And I bought this in a five pack. These came in a five pack um, and they were on a really good sale from Little Knits. And uh, this is my last, um, my last uh, skein of it, so it did go through the full five skeins to make this sweater. But it's a nice and it's a nice length sweater. You know, it's nice and long. And I made the sleeves rather than uh, sometimes I make my sleeves three quarter sleeves, but I went ahead and made it a full long sleeve um, with this one. And I just love the way it looks. So I already did the finishing row at the neckline, and I already did the finishing row at the base and I've just got to finish this sleeve. I mean, I could have this done today if I, if I wanted to. Um, 
but it's been so hot here, you guys. Oh my gosh, we have had a heat wave come through. It was close to 90 over the weekend. And I couldn't stand to crochet with anything of any size because I just couldn't stand to have that extra fabric on me. It was just too hot. We didn't turn the air on yet. Um, actually, I begged Jeff to turn the air on on, what was it, Sunday or Monday? And he did, and he had painted the hallway over the winter. And so he had taken the thermostat cover off and he thinks that he must have like disrupted some wires or something in the thermostat because the air condition, the central air wouldn't kick on for us. So we had to suffer through the heat. Anyway, you don't care about that. So I'm also very, very close to being done with this dress. And this dress is using um, from Hobby, uh, Cotton King Sultan Deluxe in the ombre. And I think it looks so great. I only have a couple rows left to do on this bottom edging. Um, and this will be, and this one will be finished too for my granddaughter again. Um, I, I love the way this turned out. I, I absolutely love this ombre effect of this yarn. Super cool. And it's 100% cotton. And this is a sport weight uh, number two yarn. So it's, you know, it's a little bit, it's a little bit different to go from working with, you know, four worsted weight to working with two, two weight yarn. You can see how small that is. It's, but I don't mind it. I don't mind it one bit. And I really, really like the way it's coming out. Um, I'm also making for my granddaughter a sweater, a cardigan. I'm using um, some yarn that I just received in the last order from the last time I saw you guys on video. And it is going to be a toddler's cardigan. It's not even close to being long enough. Um, but this is using Lion Brand Homespun Stripes yarn. Don't know how much I love this yarn. I, I, I gotta tell you, I don't, I, I don't think I'll buy it again. It's very fickle to work with. Um, it snags really easily. Um, and I don't know that I love the colors. I don't know that I love how bright that red is. I don't know. I don't know. But I also finished a toddler sweater for, well, it's not completely finished. I have to put the buttons on. I don't, <laughs> you're going to crack up at this. I don't know how to sew on buttons. I don't. I've never sewed a button on anything in my life. So um, I'm sure there's a YouTube video out there. <laughs> and I'll find it and I'll figure it out. But I made this adorable little boy's cardigan for my great nephew. Um, he is going to be two years old. So I made this really cute hooded cardigan for him. And I love the way it turned out. I think it's going to be just so adorable on him. Um, I've got it and it has buttonholes on this side and I have some wood buttons. So um, it'll button, it'll button up. And I just love the way it turned out. For this, I used uh, Premier Puzzle yarn. And I have some Premier Puzzle in other colorways. And I am going to make, I'm going to make so many of these sweaters. I, I just love the way it turned out. Super cute. Okay, last thing, and then I'll let you guys go. This isn't going to be a very long one today. Um, because I have so many other, I got... You're going to be sick of me by the end of the day today because I'll be putting up videos all day. Um, I learned a new thing. I taught myself a new thing. I learned how to do corner to corner. I have never done corner to corner before. And I've always wanted to learn, but every time I tried, I got frustrated and gave up. So I set my mind to it. My friend Jody sent me uh, the link to a pattern uh, for a shirt that was corner to corner. And I really loved the pattern. I thought it was so cool looking and I really wanted to do it. Now, if you guys remember, I had this Malabrigo Rios yarn. Gorgeous, gorgeous color. Love this yarn. So beautiful. I started making this sweater with it. And you can see I've got quite a bit done. There was quite a bit more done. Um, I'm frogging it and because it ended up being way too small of a sweater, like way, way too small of a sweater. 
frogging it as I go and I am making a, a top. And this is what it looks like so far. So I learned corner to corner. So it's the top is gonna be, it's like in panels. So this panel will go kind of like this, right? And then there's gonna be a solid colored panel that's gonna, that's gonna come in and meet it right here. Okay, and then the back is gonna be just a rectangle that, you know, sews onto this. Um, and I'm using this um, Yarn Bee Soft Secret in the color Shale for the um, stripe. And I think it looks great. I think the, those two colors look great together. So I gotta decide, do I wanna do a striped back or do I wanna do a solid back? You know, a, one color for the back. And I haven't quite decided yet 100% um, what, I'd, what I would rather do. Um, I found this, I, I, I needed one more um, skein of this uh, Malabrigo Rios and they did have it at my local little yarn shop. So I did pick up another hank of it um, when Maddie and I went. And so I know that if I need more, I can go there and get it. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Should I do the back of the shirt striped also? Or should I do the back of the shirt a solid color? Either the gray or the Malabrigo. Um, that might get pretty expensive if I do the back in solid Malabrigo. But, you know there's very few this this was one of this was um one of my splurge yarns from when uh, Mindy and I went to Michigan Fine Yarns down in where was that Livonia Michigan I don't remember um it's too bad that this sweater didn't work out because I really loved the idea of the pattern of it but it just was way too small way too small and the I'm not advanced enough that I could um that I was able to like reinterpret the pattern um, to make it bigger. It was a video tutorial on YouTube, so it wasn't a written pattern. Um, it wasn't size adjustable. She didn't give size adjustments, but it's too bad. I mean, I had a lot of work into it and I really love the yarn, but so I'm repurposing it. So let me know what you think. Should I do a solid back or a striped back on that top? that I'm that I'm doing the corner to corner on and that's all like I said I did have I finished that I, I showed you guys last time um the lion brand one hat wonders the sesame street characters I did do that I did all nine squares sewed it together put a border on it and my granddaughters came and picked it up last night they love it they love the little heads on there um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, Crystal from Bag O' Day Crochet did a crochet along using those um, Lion Brand One Hat Wonders from Sesame Street that had the little bobble heads on them. So check out her channel if you're interested in that. And you can see mine looks exactly like hers did because <laughs> I just I did exactly the same as what she instructed. Um, no, absolutely no uh, uniqueness here. Just a copycat. Um, then I also did dresses for both girls. I finished dresses, cotton dresses for each of my granddaughters and they have those. So that's all that's going on. I am working on a pair of, I didn't bring them over because there's not, it's nothing really to see. I'm working on a pair of crocodile slippers for Emily and I'm still working on my, um, blankets also I mean not when it's so hot right like right now but still working on my blankets also from my hooked on sunshine patterns but you wouldn't see any discernible difference so I wasn't going to haul it all over here to show it to you but I continue to work on those other things so thank you guys for hanging out with me while I talked about what I've got going on in my yarny world I've got to go process this video and get ready and do a diamond painting video. So that's coming up next. So you're gonna get a twofer today if you if you watch both types of my videos. Um, I hope you do, but if you don't, I don't blame, you know. I just like to chit chat with you. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. See you soon. Bye.